Hi, everybody. John here at PT. Dan with Sandler Training. Dan, how are you? Fine, 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 fine. Thanks, John. PT has Dan. <laughs> Dan's fine. There you go. There we go. All right. So let's talk about a tendency. And I, I don't think it's unique to sales. I think it, there's a societal aspect to this. So we take some simple things and we make them pretty complex. Mm-hmm. And we start adding in layers. We put barriers in between us and sometimes progress other people and all kinds of different things and we do it in the name of progress or change or whatever we want to hide behind in in some of those regards but but there's a lot of value in staying simple with certain behaviors because if we believe at the end of the day conversations are sort of king one-on-one that lead to cash as king mentality keeping it simple can play a big role in helping us do it better and easier in the sense of, I guess, less emotional mm-hmm. in many ways. So talk about keeping things simple in an ever-changing and complex world. <laughs> there's so many examples I'm thinking of as we're talking, right? It's just, yeah. there's a zillion of them. Let, let me give you one. And you and I had briefly talked about this before doing this podcast or whatever this is called, right? There's <laughs> technology for you. <laughs> I have a client who's trying to reach the CEO of a company. I looked up on LinkedIn. I don't have any, I'm not personally connected to that CEO, but I have five people that I know that are. Yep. And I was thinking, oh, I had to send them all an email. Can you get me connected and see if he's willing to take my call? But how long is that going to take? I, I don't know. I'll spin my wheels on that. Or... I could just pick up the phone and just dial company headquarters and ask to speak to them. Yeah. Now I get it. We go, well, which way is more effective? But at the end of the day, John, I don't know. I, I think we make things too complex, but that doesn't make it better. Simple in my mind is always better. And then if it doesn't work, then you make it a little more and a little more and a little more complex. Yeah. And I think it, I think there's a human nature factor here of taking something that seems simple and wanting to make it look and feel better or, or, or sexier or more involved or anything like that. And so we try and start stacking things onto it to make it more presentable or more fascinating, or people are going to be more curious. And at the end of the day, oftentimes they aren't. And so just that direct pick up the phone or try and go right into the process to generate a conversation can be best. Well, absolutely. And the other side of that is sometimes we do things that make us comfortable, send emails, do LinkedIn connections, whereas just picking up the phone and making a call would be much more efficient and effective. But we're going to use modern technology because we have the ability to. Yes, I I think sometimes, and and maybe I'm showing my age here, but sometimes those other methods will turn people off. I've got so many email streams where people say, hey, did you get this email? Hey, I just want time. Hey, what about this? Hey, what do you, you know, and and by the time it's 20 deep and I'm on the, my God, I never want to talk to this person. (laughs) Makes you want to jump off a building or something. All right. I don't know. Ah. (laughs) It's frustrating. It's frustrating. So taking something simple where maybe that person just picked up the phone and called me and said, hey, can we have a conversation or general introduction? Let's chat, see where it goes. Yeah. Agree. Simple is better. Keep it simple. All right, everybody. See you tomorrow for another simple day. (laughs) See you, John.